Uh, it was phenomenal. Uh, the energy that the crowd brought, that we brought, um, really, you really can't explain the emotions that we had uh, since we're getting better as a team from last year. You know, the sky's the limit. You know, the funny part is you're not even the oldest one. We call you the old man, but but still, um, another big game for you tonight. Um, you know, you're quietly leading the Sun Belt Conference in sacks, uh, forced to safety tonight. Just, you know, the way you guys are playing, your defense is becoming a strength of this team. How much how much pride have you guys taken in that? Uh, we take a lot of pride, actually. Uh, every practice that we go out there, we know that we have to bring it every every time. Coach Alley's hard on us. Uh, you know, we can't take a play off. And that shows uh, on Saturday nights that the way we fly around, the way we hit, we just got to make plays every time uh, we got to step up. And, and you guys are scoring. I mean, you almost out – up until that last drive, you, um, you almost outscored Troy just defensively. You know, how, how much fun is that to, you know, get those turnovers and score them? Oh, it's amazing. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you know, what really gets a team, you know, motivated is, is a defensive touchdown or turnover. And so we, we pride ourselves on that, trying to get as much turnovers as possible. Most definitely, uh, just wanted to say that I'm thankful for the opportunity to get an opportunity to play here. Um, the play was just just a play of pursuit, just a play of relentlessly finishing. That's something that we pride ourselves on on defense here. Um, just running to the ball, finishing the play, and you know that was just a byproduct of me just trying to finish the play. You know, the ball popped up; it just seemed like it hung in the air forever, and I just caught it in stride and just just did what I knew I'd do best: just take off. Hey, Jaquez, um, Adam Hunsucker. You know, you're, you're another one of the new guys that have come in here, and it seems like it's a new one of y'all every week. Just find a way to make plays. And this play, this week, it was your turn. Just, um, you know, how are y'all feeling kind of this acclimation project and how, whether it be you or Zach or these other guys, have been able to just come in here, settle in, be a part of this team, and learn your roles? Um, most definitely. Um, I think it's just a combination of everybody just trusting each other and just doing your job. Um, Coach Alley, you know, he puts a lot on us, but at the end of the day, all we have to do is, is just do our job. You know, we, we hear the narratives, but it's all about us. And, you know, we say that all the time. It's about what we do. It's not about what the outside guys, people think. It's not about none of that. It's about what we do in a room, how we control our jobs and do our jobs. And as far as finding our roles, you know, everybody here is unselfish. I haven't met one selfish guy since I've been here. Everybody just wants to win. Everybody wants to change the narrative, and that's just the most important important thing. We don't care if you're the first string, the third string, the, 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 the scout team player. Everyone has a role and everyone has to accept their role and everyone's trying to buy into that here. So. And, and two, for everything that, you know, your new teammates have been through, the guys that have been here a long time, you know, before, before you got here, I mean, you can come from a program you're used to winning, going to ball games and all that. So you're sitting here at, um, you know, at two and two and oh, and two and oh, when, uh, two and one, excuse me, one of the Sun Bells. So I mean, you're used to this kind of success. What's it been like for you to, you know, watch these other guys, you know, experiences as you get try to get this thing rolling? Um, it's been it's been, you know, a great thing to see, man. Just seeing guys win, man. And I tell the guys, you know, you have to you have to expect to win. No matter who we line up against. I don't care if we were playing Jackson State or we were playing LSU down the down the later on in the season, you know. It's all about us. It always goes back to the same narrative. What we can do on any given play. It doesn't matter who we line up against. If we do our jobs, we can play with anybody. And that's the mentality we gotta have. And just seeing guys believe one another and trust in the process where, you know, if you do your job, the plays will come to you. It's just really gratifying to see. And I and I was telling these guys, you know, towards the end of the game, you know, we're just, just, just scratching the surface of how good we can be. We're not there at all. There's a lot of plays we're going to look on film and see we left a lot of plays out there still. We're going to go back and we're going to correct them. We're just, just going to lock in for Coastal. Yeah, it was a great win. Super exciting. I think I was, I was just really proud of the defense. Defense did such a great job tonight, and that gives the, the confidence or the offense a lot of confidence that, hey, we just got to get our uh, stuff straightened out, and the defense, they're not going to score on us. And that's really how I felt the whole game, that, hey, we just get a couple scores, and we're going to win. And the special teams did a great job, too. Um, I'm proud of everybody for battling. Chandler got in there and played well while I was kind of dealing with some stuff. So it was a great win. I'm, I'm excited for our, our program. We're gaining some, some momentum. And the thing I'm excited about is that we are we still have so much room to get better. I mean, just specifically me and on offense, there's a lot of things that we can get better, and, and I'm, I'm hoping this will – uh, keep going in the weeks ahead. Now you mentioned that, Rhett, uh, the way this is going. Uh, I mean, tonight, two quarterbacks was better than better than one. Both you and then Chandler seem to kind of settle in there and, you know, find your roles and, you know, for what you're being asked to do offensively. Just, you know, how, how comfortable was that tonight for you all to kind of go back and forth and, you know, move up and down the field a little bit? Yeah, I think some of the guys have mentioned, I mean, we, we preach being selfless. 
I mean, we're, we're talking about you know what's best for the team, and um, it's it's good to have flexibility in, in what we do. You know, Chandler's a little faster than I am, <laughs> um, and but he's a really good quarterback. We have a lot of good quarterbacks on our team, and so we're really just trying to do what's best for the team, and uh, we all get along really well, and we're all just ready whenever our name is called. And so I think that adds a little element, makes it harder for people to prepare for us. And uh, so, I mean, who knows where the rest of the season goes, but whatever it is, I know our, our whole offense has a great mentality, and um, we preach about doing what's best for the team and, and not being selfish. You know, wherever this goes the rest of the season, I think Zach Jackson's going to be involved. You seem to have a little uh, – found a little rapport with him. He was making plays, and I just – how good was it for you all to finally, you know, find that one playmaker out on the edge you can just throw it up to? Yeah, Zach, he had a great game. I mean, he's shown a lot. He's one of those guys that got better and better as fall camp went on. Um, and a lot of our guys on on, uh, on offense, our receivers, we got a lot of playmakers. They might not have been the, had the chance to show it yet. Um, but I think I'm confident with a lot of our guys, and especially with our tempo, we got to be able to rotate guys in and out. And uh, I know I just got to trust my receivers, and I have the full, complete trust in, in a lot of them. And so, I mean, Zach, like you mentioned, did a great job. And um, I think as the weeks go by, you never know who's, who's going to step up and make a play. Uh, and so that's exciting. You know, and, and two, um, you know, some of you guys that are coming here, you're new. You've been to, you're used to being at programs that have had some success, used to winning games like this. And some of these guys, you know, that have been here a while, they've been through a lot. And this is either new to them or they haven't experienced it in a while. So, you know, from your perspective, what's it like for you to experience this, not just for you having taken a chance to come here, but just with them and everything they've been through and, you know, trying to get this program the way you all want it? Yeah, I always say that. Um, football, I mean, obviously you got to have talent. you got to have people who can make plays. But the teams that win are the teams that have chemistry together and the teams that really have that mentality. And, you know, everybody talks about culture. And um, culture is, you know, one of those buzzwords. But it really is about having that team chemistry. And uh, I've been on teams where, you know, the team chemistry wasn't really there. And whenever stuff started going bad, then uh, we knew we weren't going to win. But with this team, I think since I got here, that's the main thing I've been impressed with is, We've had such a good mentality. I think we've all been just wanting to get better, and I'm, I'm so lucky. I'm so grateful that I'm here. I'm grateful just to be a part of the program and to be surrounded by such great coaches, such great you know, trainers, players, everybody. I'm just, uh, you know, give the glory to God. I'm very grateful and very blessed to be a part of this group. This is probably the closest I've been with any team I've been on, and I've only been here for less than a year. And so it's been really great, and I'm just, like I said, very grateful to be a part of it.